Meredith Morakovitz alongside Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez. Let's talk about the Jets in general right now. Two back-to-back -back, uh, overtime wins on the road. How fortunate do you guys feel to come out with two wins there? They're huge wins, and that's what, you know, when, you, when we look back at this season, hopefully after a Super Bowl win, we'll realize that those two wins set us up really well to make this final run at the playoffs here. And these last two games are games we definitely would not have won last year. Uh, the way I was playing last year, the way we weren't, quite ready to finish games last year um, until the end of the season. So big plays by Santonio, San Dustin Keller, Jericho Cotri gets hurt and still finishes the play, makes a great catch for me. Offensive line blocking their tail off all game. It's, uh, it's a testament to our resilience as a team and our coaching. You know, we're willing to, to play to the very last snap, whether it's in overtime or regulation. Uh, hopefully we start winning some of these games in regulation because they're nail biters. So. You mentioned last year you may not have made some of those plays. How much more comfortable do you feel in this offense and running this offense? I feel much more comfortable with Coach Schottenheimer's uh, terminology with our offense. Coach Kavanaugh's, you know, really coaching me on um, remaining a passer when I start to scramble, and that couldn't have been more evident this season than this past game. And then the most important thing I feel like we're doing as a team, and me personally, is just giving ourselves the opportunity to make some of those plays. Because last year I would have thrown it to the defender, you know, that, to be totally honest, to be Rex Ryan, blunt force drama, I would have thrown it right to the DB instead of giving us a chance on third or fourth down to make a play. And when you give that many playmakers, the Braylon Edwards, you know, Dustin Keller, LaDainian Tomlinson's of the league, of our team, you give them a chance to make a play and they'll make you look good. So it's, I'm pretty fortunate to be in this spot. Rex said earlier in the week, he mentioned the fact that the overtime wins are, are starting to get old. He liked to do it in regulation. How big a focus um, will getting it done in the red zone be um, uh, approaching the Texans game? How much of a focus is that this week? That's huge because we, I think we were one for four, one for five last week. And that's been the story that's really hurt us from scoring on offense. And uh, you go one for four or something like that, you get bumped back to 31st in the league statistics wise. And that's never where you want to be. We really made it an emphasis to do well on third down when we were over 50% on third down. So that was great. So whenever we focus on one specific area, we seem to improve it. So this week it's definitely going to be red zone efficiency, and that starts with the quarterback and, and being ready to play. So I will definitely be ready. Before I let you go, four and five Texans coming up, and then you have the Bengals who have been struggling right. throughout the course of the season. Then the Patriots. How hard is it to take it one game at a time and not look ahead to that Patriots game? I think the most important thing is to know that the Patriots game is out in the distance and not to think about it and to if we were to make the mistake of overlooking the Texans first and then the Bengals you know you can go out and get embarrassed these next couple days and those games are right back to back they're within five days of each other we play the Sunday Thursday um, so it's never more important for us to really focus on getting our red zone efficiency right on eliminating turnovers on continuing to play well on third down and then being ready for a four and five team that doesn't play like they're four and five. They lost a heartbreaker last week. They could easily be five and four and things looking up. This week they happen to be four and five. So it's um, it's a tough task, but every week you'll get the other team's best and that's why you play. Thanks for the time and best of luck the rest of the season. Absolutely. Thank you.